What is up everybody, it's Deadstorm here and I am bringing you a domination gameplay here on Village. Let's forget the gameplay, let's forget the video. Watch it for just the background it is. You're listening to me, hopefully. Do I have your attention? Bueller? Bueller? Just kidding. Anyways, what I want to get into is the Call of Duty community. The Call of Duty community right now is going through a pretty dramatic phase. If you did not know, a lot of you probably know, you probably knew before me, Raw Instinct got taken down. I don't know if he really got taken down. He's still got quite a bit of subs. Basically, his secret got revealed for the liar, cheater, and thief that he is. And I just want to re-emphasize all of this and I want to talk about my thoughts on it. And the reason I'm saying this is because I have a raw instinct of my own in my life. I'm not going to put out the name. Basically, if I were to put out the name, it would cause a war, a YouTube war. If you get what I mean, there'd be dislikes everywhere. There'd be titles saying, unsub dead storm. And I'd be like, unsub he who shall not be named. <laughs> Anyways, it would be terrible. It would destroy our channels. Probably destroy mine. I don't care about his channel, to be honest with you. Sorry if that's fighting words and all that, but he can get all the hate he wants on his channel because he's copied me to an extreme extent. And what I mean by that is he really didn't exactly copy me by video. He copied me through technique. What I mean by that is whenever I came up with a new revolutionary idea that would enhance my channel and make it better, would also enhance my subs, he would copy that idea. When I made my community channel, he made one. When I did my 500k sub giveaway, he did one. And this guy was so not original that he did the giveaway based on the same concept as me and had the same prize. Now tell me that's not messed up. I really don't want to continue into this topic. I, I know I have a rivalry. I'm trying to get away from it, you know, trying to become a channel of my own. What I really want to talk about is Raw Instinct and what he did. Before I get into how much of a douchebag Raw Instinct is, I want to talk about the Call of Duty community. The Call of Duty community is very top-heavy. It's it's political. You have people like Woody's Gamertag, WhiteBoy7Street, XJaws, Mark of J, just to name a few. There's many other names that are notable that I did not mention. Sorry if you're offended I did not mention your YouTuber. I was just bringing up a few. It's political. If something happens amongst the top YouTubers, it might affect the others. So basically what happens is they're j volleying for each other. They're, they're making videos to cover themselves. They're making videos to keep their status. It's a, it's a social culture. I'm, I know I'm dissecting this. I'm getting really deep into it, but you have to understand there's purpose to each vid that comes out from a top call of duty youtuber there's so much on the line which with each vid it's very important that you stay on top of your stuff that you keep yourself in a high social status because that is what youtube is it's a social network and if you are popular on this social network you need to watch everything you say and everything you do if I all of a sudden got to 200k subs tomorrow, I could no longer support every one of my subs. I could no longer go to their videos unless I thought that their videos were amazing. I can view them. I can view them. But I can't like them or I can't favorite them because there's so much meaning and so much power to each move that I make. I am being micro-watched. Everybody is watching my smallest move. And that is the pressure that comes with being a big YouTuber. Woody's Gamertag favorites a video, and it gets popular. WhiteBoy7Street likes a video, gets popular. Any big YouTuber does that. 
Jay Nasty dislikes a video, it gets hated. I've seen him do it, and it's not pretty. If Jay Nasty disliked this video, wouldn't look too good. That's what I'm saying. There's so much power with each big YouTuber, and some of them do abuse that power. Some of them get to that position of power through not-so-good means. That is what Raw Instinct did. He had copied bigger YouTubers. He had used their tags, their thumbnails, and their titles. He even went so far as to copy the exact nature of the video. That is unacceptable. That is a cheap and easy way to get big. Earn it, sir. That is why you are going down. That is why your numbers are dropping and you haven't posted a video in two days. You got your 5,000 likes you needed for the next video, but I don't see it, and I understand why. You look at his feed on his channel. It is full of hate. You look at his most recent video. Has so many dislikes. Does not have comments, however. He disabled the comments on that video. He made it so it was uploader approved. That is how you skate the hate, so to say. Anyways, that is what I had to say. That's my little rant. That's my little rave. I could get so in-depth about this. There's so much. You know, when you're up there in status, when you're looking down at everybody, let's not put it that way. They, they're all human like us. What I'm saying is it all comes down to politics. It all comes down to the slightest thing that you do. That's what I have to say. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please leave it a like rating. Thank you guys. Peace.